In the 1800s, when Britishers were ruling India, the language of official communication in India was Urdu. Surprisingly, it was not Hindi, which is a current national language. And the reason being is Hindi had many dialects. So it is impossible to pinpoint on one particular dialect and make it a language of communication across India. Now, you have to also note that during that particular point in time, India had many languages across zones, across regions. However, Britishers were mostly in the North India, Northern India, where their headquarters and offices were. And that's how Urdu and Hindi were more prominent choices for them to take for local communication. Urdu, on one hand, has a, a dialect which is kind of similar to Hindi, but they have a Persian uh, background, whereas Hindi has more of a Devnagri or a local kind of a origin. Hindi had a different kind of a language when you go to, let's say, in Punjab, Haryana, which is the northern part of India, or if you go to western part, there was a different kind of Hindi which was spoken, which made it very difficult to people to choose which form of Hindi to substantiate upon. To make it all a real, to make sure that Hindi can come together as one force and become a prominent language of consideration, the gentleman who was responsible behind this was Harichandra. Harichandra was born in 1850 amongst tragedy. His parents died young and uh, he was born without, in fact, when he was an infant, his parents died, so he's almost born often. But he grew up to be a rich man and he used all his money and his cloud to make sure that he can make Hindi the language of choice. He died very young. He died at the age of 35 in 1880, but amongst that particular 20, 22 years of his, uh, when he had census, he made sure that Hindi had his own ground, own standing and own bedrock as we see today. He was responsible for the famous slogan, Hindi, Hindu and Hindustan. He is coined as the father of modern Hindi literature and for Hindi theater as well. He created many firsts. For example, uh, he created uh, the first woman general known as Bala Bodhini. Uh, ironically, he didn't have a very great relationship with his wife. Despite that, he was a big prominent supporter of women coming to forefront and he created that as a first journal. He was also responsible for creating many Hindi literatures or platforms such as uh, Kaviva Chansuda in 1868, he created that and another one known as Harishchandra Chandrika in 1873. These are iconic platform where Hindi literature was shared, thrive, survive, and kind of propagated all together. But unfortunately, he didn't live long to see Hindi being recognized by Britishers as the official language to be communicated within India. He died in 1880, as I said before, but not until 1893, when a general sabha was created, a lobby was created to fight to make Hindi and Devnagri the official script uh, within the British community. They fought for about seven years and it is not until 1900, 20 years after Harichandra died, when Hindi got its final stage as the official language in India. In 1910, the Sahitya Samelan, which is a big platform for cultural exchange in Hindi language was created and a small trivia for you, Mahatma Gandhi was part of that. In fact, he's, he was part of the Sahitya Sammelan of Hindi much longer than he was part of Congress and he became a member of that very early in time and remained a member till his final days. So that's a quick trivia of this. Harichandra, while he created all the platforms using his clout and his money and prominent space to make Hindi a bedrock of language within India, he didn't survive to see it, but he was responsible for creating this. For that, he's also known as Bharat Hindu which is known as Moon of India. I hope you like what you heard. And if you did so, please do share this video with others. Follow my channel and provide your feedback and your comments in the comment section. Take care. Until next time. Bye now.